Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So what we have e raised to minus t sin square t. This function we have and we have to find its Laplace transform. Let us write a given function first. We have what we have, let me write e raised to minus t sin square t. It is fixed in our mind that when exponential function is there, obviously we have to go for first shifting theorem. That means first of all, we have to find Laplace of sin square t and after that we have to go for first shifting theorem. So by solving it, we will easily have the answer. Let us focus on Laplace of sin square t now. Let us see how to find it. So consider Laplace of sin square t. This thing we have to find, right? But the problem is that when square is there, we don't have any direct formula. So here we have to use the knowledge of trigonometry. Can you tell me how to express sin square as a linear combination of sin or cos? The formula is sin square is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. Let us use that formula here. So this is equal to Laplace of formula is 1 minus cos 2t divided by 2. So this is equal to what will happen that 2 is in denominator which is a constant and constants we always take outside. So that 1 by 2 will come outside Laplace of 1 minus cos 2t. We know the property of uh, Laplace that is when minus sign is there, we take separate separate Laplace. So here also we can take separate Laplace. I'm directly writing the answer here. Huh? So this is equal to 1 by 2. Laplace of 1 is 1 by S. Laplace of cos 2t. We have a standard formula for Laplace of cos a t. S upon a square plus a square. So that formula I'm using here. S upon a square plus a is 2. So 2 square is 4. So in this way we got Laplace of sin square t. So that means we found out the Laplace of sin square t. Now we have to focus on entire function. That means in case of Laplace, normally we start with the right hand side function and after that we consider all functions one by one. Fortunately, we have only two functions here, sin square and e raised to minus t. This one we have done. Let us consider e raised to minus t now. Now, Laplace of e raised to minus t sin square t. So let me write by, okay, here I will write. See, by first shifting theorem, since exponential function is there. In case of first shifting theorem, we do not find a Laplace. We simply make changes in the Laplace of neighboring function. That means e raised to minus t is there. So it indicates we have to use first shifting theorem. So whatever its neighbor sin square t, we have to make changes in its Laplace. Its Laplace already we have found out, right? So first shifting theorem says we have to replace s by s plus 1 since multiple of t is minus 1. So that's why we have to replace s by s plus 1. Let us see what will happen. So this is equal to 1 by 2. I'm replacing s by s plus 1. So 1 upon s plus 1 minus here also I will replace s by s plus 1 s plus 1 in denominator also wherever you, you say s you have to replace it by s plus 1. So this is equal to 1 by 2. Let me simplify it further 1 upon s plus 1 minus s plus 1. You can expand this bracket s square plus 2s plus 1, 1 square is 1 plus 4 5. So a plus b bracket square formula we use. You can further simplify by cross multiplying but you will have uh, answer like this. Okay. So make a screenshot of it and uh, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.